Chicky Chicky Ching Chong. You're a racist, Jeff. I know. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? Yeah. I know far more underrated people. Yeah. Successful people. Of course. That's saying something. That's, That's because we're friends with yeah. artists. Uh, well, yeah, no. a, lot of it, a lot of it ties into that, but at the same time, it's, you know, the audience keeps getting what producers think they want, so they keep you have to hug that corner. the same thing. No, they do. They just want to feed them whatever people are used to. Oh, that's how you I do mean, it. Yeah, sometimes shit right. slides through the cracks, and it's like, oh, this is the new great thing, but fucking new great things happen all the fucking time. It's just people are used to things. That's right. Do you remember how you did that? Yeah. yeah. Wow, Holy Jesus shit. F. Lies through the cracks. That's what she said. <laughs> Shad. I mean, really. If you disrespect okay. Shad one more time. That was, there was literally no disrespect That was there. hilarious what he said. <laughs> I never said it wasn't, did I? That's true. Gonzo's a good artist. He's just terribly unfunny. Hmm? Yeah. Um, oh, no. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's uh, you know... That was brutally honest, man. Humor is a d- 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 thing. It's a, d- it's a d- debate. You mean it's subjective? Yeah, that. Here's a curveball for you, Mick. I think you're a great artist, but you're unfunny as well. I, you know what's funny? What's not funny about that is I could not agree with you more. I know how unfunny well, I am. Well, now I feel like a piece of shit, so... <laughs> Why? Well, I just agree with you. I absolutely agree with you. That was always my thing. I was always curious how fucking anyone asked me about how to write a script. I was like, guys, are you serious? Why are you asking me this? So, what is, what exactly did you go to school for then? Acting. It's strictly like the technical aspect of acting? Yep. And Shad and Jeff got to watch it. And it was not the prettiest thing in the world. Not Jeff Prime, mind you. No. Jeff Jeffers, Top Spin the Fuzzy, and Shad got to watch it. Um, Jeff Prime. And granted, they were yeah, polite in laughing at times, but it is cringy as fuck. Uh, I no I genuinely I like parts of it. No, what? you're not going to see it. I want to see Baby Mick. No, it's uh, it's excuse me, the painful. It's Mick. Mick, whatever. It's, Thank you. It's painful as fuck to watch. For you. For no, yeah. for all of you. Don't be silly. What the hell are you talking about? You guys about? just... I don't, I don't know why you guys... You watched it for the cringe factor. No. That is not true at all. Shad, be honest. You're the most honest of all of us. But Shad definitely watched Shad, it. Shad, what did you watch it for? It was a little bit cringy. There but, you go. But, the end. But at the same time... Like Listen, when you take in consideration that you are like college students, it's better than most college students would do. It's okay. I'm well, totally honest yeah, about yeah, how yeah. I enjoyed it, though. Jeff, I, I won't lie and say that I didn't originally I want to see it for the cringe value of it. I'm not saying it's easy, but well, that was you giving I in. Like, like legitimately we'll like parts of it. We all make mistakes. Like I'm, I would say, if completely honest, if, if Mick wouldn't be in it, I wouldn't have watched it. Yeah, yeah exactly. What do you mean, what do you mean baby Mick? Mick? Like, how oh young are you? She was like three. No, she was like a retard. She was like. You were like early 20s, you know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you still had your hair. I had hair. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> Don't say it like that. No, well, no, I it's a good... It's true. Like, it's a life yeah, point. But, but yeah. At that point, no, I, mean, I had hair. Downtrodden tone. So I didn't believe that Mick was fucking Chinese, and he was like, no, look, dude, see, it's like, I guess the Mandarin fuck didn't... I, it still didn't convince me, and then he showed me a picture there you of go. himself, and he uh, showed you a picture of his wiener. And <laughs> and Does Shad have a beard? No, Shad could not grow a beard if he wanted to. Shad is a precious no, little skinless baby. Skinless? Skinless. Why is he skinless? It's disgusting. He had harlots. I meant hairless, but baby. I'm gonna go with skinless. Listen, asshole, I told you about disrespecting Shad. That's the I said last straw. Precious. What is your problem? It's fair. <laughs> Jesus! You're, yes, just looking, you're just looking for excuses to murder me at this point. And I don't appreciate it. What do you got there? No, I'm waiting for other people to disrespect you so I can defend you, and no one's doing it because they respect you so much. Uh-huh. No, because nobody oh, respects me at all, so they don't even pay me any money. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Wow. There you go. Good work. Fuck you. 
Oh, they just well, love the big line line thing, but huh? also Jeff did a really good job there. Ed, oh fuck! I'm trying to physically. Is that is some really Denver. cute level design. The eyes and Isaac. Remember? Yep. No, that's exactly no. like the eyes. Oh, and I'm, I'm focusing on Jeff. Right they were now. also How did you even do that, Jeff? That's that was really impressive. Do you have a life outside of working? You just work and play games. This is why the game's not done. It's a lie. There are lots of reasons why that's the case. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> that, that's not disrespect, that's a compliment. Remember when they had that contest where you had to draw Edmund's naked or something? Yeah. Oh yeah. What? Yeah, that's sad. Is that really a like, thing? Yeah, they did a contest uh, like that new guy was way back. Yeah, there was. Right. There was an art contest to draw Edmund naked. How did he feel about yeah, that? See, there you go. I think he came up with it. Here's a fun fact. Jeff drew uh, Edmund's uh, Twitter icon and <laughs> left the... <laughs> I left the left the, uh, off the glasses. He left the I forgot the earpiece off the glasses. No. It just like totally missed it. And that was in 2009. Is it still missing? Yeah, they, it is still missing. Go to his Twitter page. He's I never missing. even noticed that. Yeah, I know. I didn't notice either. I didn't Twitter notice either. Twitter. I don't know why. I don't know how I could have missed. I don't know how I should have fucking missed that. Do we need another spell of lies? Mm-hmm. Well, people are throwing their hands in. in. Yeah, that would be nice. Jeff's like portraits of people are always very flattering. Like you make them look I'm very nasty. Right I'm going to. Oh, you know. Now? Well, aside from. Do you have a glass already? He always had this weird thing for me <laughs> where he always drew okay, me like really lanky and. I think he got what I was going for with my life and my direction there. <laughs> What am I doing? Oh, I know what I'm doing. What the fuck? And that's an indie theater. I didn't even know you played this game, Jeff. Yeah, I played it too much. Yeah, no shit. Clearly. What is going it, even going on right now, man? I don't know. Zephyr, when you Maybe work on stuff like this, better. do you actually end up playing them a lot, or...? No, not really. And truthfully, it gets kind of weird. Like, you, when you start making games, you start... I don't know if this is the same way with, like, I don't know why I even got into, like, you know, we are just talking about Metal Gear 5, but I, I get into this thing where I dropped out of playing video games for, like, fucking four, like, four... Five straight years because I, I just saw it as a business. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It was all like, like I see you just see like repeating textures and you're like, oh yeah, that's the fucking dude, that's their texture artist or stuff like that. But I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. But it's like you just you don't see it as a, the suspension of disbelief is gone. You just see it as a product. Yeah, and you know, like for example, like as much as uh, Lords of Shadow, the Castlevania game was like so like widely. Uh, like everybody loved it. Yeah, everyone, everyone loved it. But you know, I was playing, and I was like, you know, I own that sound, co- that sound collection. Like every time he hits a fucking tombstone and breaks, it's like I'm using the same fucking sound effects. And it's like the dude just pulled them off his CD, and it's like, okay. Well, so I can't help but see it as this is when the game turns into bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I get that. That's cool. I mean, I think that's but you did it anyway. Fairly. Like Sam, I remember when I was like talking to you about Alien Hominide, and you did like all the music for that, right? Yeah. Uh, no. What the hell are you talking about? No. That some was, of it. Uh, Matthew Harwood. But you, you said he did some of the music for it. Uh, uh, Castle Crashers, I did. Oh, you Castle. Mm-hmm. What did you do in Alien Hominide? Uh, the, their website. Oh. <laughs> okay. After <laughs> some reason, we did the logo. Did the music in it. Damn. That explains why you didn't know it. Your logo design is out of control. This why, or the pretty much when I first met Tom and Dan, they were uh, working on Alien Hominid. So I did what I could. You know, I came up to work for Newgrounds, and you know, Jeff came in later after Alien Hominid. Jeff, pretty much. I mean, I showed up like late 2005. Yeah. Yeah, they were like, I, I, 
maybe help test it and stuff. I you know they're trying to start a fucking company at that point. I see. And then you know everything kind of fell into place because I was already with Newgrounds doing cartoons and shit, and, and here I am now. Leader silent, Mr. Dave. I was never. I'm definitely. Even though I don't like work on games, I can definitely starting to see all the patterns of business. Even in AAA, like over budgeted games like Metal Gear, you can see the padding they cynically put in to make. Oh, it without a doubt, it's not even games. It's like like anything Movies, that you see. Yeah. Is, you know, you'll talk to somebody about like launching a cartoon series on you know, public broadcast, whatever the fuck is. TV, right? This is, everybody wants to be on fucking TV for some reason. Even though the money is worse and the view count is worse, right? Yeah. But either way, still, the first thing they, they ask you is, like, do you have... A, well, a the view dollar? count. I can't say that about the money per se. That depends on the person. Oh, the, in terms of funding and stuff like that? Yeah. But Sometimes the money they drop is pretty hot, but maybe either. not residually over time, but... That's true. Either way, they're still looking before they even ask you about, like, grill you about your ideas, which you oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. cartoons and shit like that. They're wondering if it's marketable. Right, right. So they want to see your logo. They want to know if they can make t-shirts, products. Mm. They want to know if they make vinyl figures out of your characters. They might even ask you to simplify mm. your characters and make them easier to be, like, pro physical products and stuff like that. Yeah. They think about the whole business aspect before you even fucking release anything. It's ridiculous. Unless you got your foot in the door early with, say, um, you know, like the South Park guys, for example. Like, they, they, they've been doing it for fucking years and they keep running yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And every now and again, something kind of slides through the cracks and it's like, oh, this is fucking genius. It's like, you know what? I, I work with geniuses every day. Every fucking person in this chat right now has had fucking genius ideas for cartoons, but there's nothing they can do about it. And that's the sad truth. Like, most of us, we're never gonna get our fucking ideas out. We're just gonna sit and hammer through shit and die alone and miserable and broke. What? Isn't that what the internet is for? No! You get your ideas out there, even though yeah. like major yeah. companies wouldn't want to do it. Yes. Now that's true, but at the same time, it's so saturated. Now you you gotta kind of stand above, and a lot of people have a misguided perception of what. A lot of people are just kind of redoing the things that, that have already been done. That's true, but I, I can kind of feel yeah. like in your example, you have very much brought out your brand of comedy to the day. Like a lot of people know it because of the internet. Like I'm sure there's still like plenty more you're gonna do, but people already know of you and like your style of humor, and you. Just need no major company to promote that you just did it on your own you wanna know what my trick is don't care I don't give a shit that's one of my things too <laughs> don't give a shit that's Who a pretty cares? good way of going about things honestly the second you start caring, then you start caring about who your target audience is. Your target audience was the, the people you just left behind. Yeah. Everybody back there that you just fucking abandoned for the magical fucking money or whatever, the market, the yeah. thing that you're going to get to. Jesus Christ, the People yeah. that are picking you up next to... It's, it's all nonsense. Jeff, you're a madman. Well, man. Fucking... Well, I mean, as long as you don't, like, care about any of that stuff, then you're free to create whatever you want, which, in the long run, I feel is more beneficial, because you're creating something freely. Well, that's, a, that's a give and take Or situation. ideally, yeah. Ideal, it's better for you, I, like, Yeah, mentally, it's better for you as a creator. I mean, you could be someone who creates something he really wants, wants to make, but nobody's interested in it, then yeah. you'll be fucked. And, and, you know, truthfully, true. I know a lot of yeah. people that do that, yeah. and they're completely content and happy doing that. And that's really what it's like. What do you Were want? You the like, one you want, who you told me about happy? some. Somebody said you should be a radio. Are, are you the? One, I can't remember if you were the one who was telling me about some person who went around, and they did these interviews with like random people. It was like some thing where they like went around and they interviewed wow. these random people. And you like heard them on like NPR or fucking something. But it was like bums and like everything. Like they just they just always had a, a thing ready to record and they just kinda of wandered the streets and like met people. And like as soon as the conversation started they would Ooh. they would light it up. 
Did you yeah, ask wasn't I you. did that? Yeah, it may not have been you, but... I mean, I do that on occasion if I got my phone No, 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 I heard some of those, but I... I remember having a conversation with somebody, and that was like their thing, like they... Or maybe it was like an NYU library thing, like there was a whole archive of... Uh, oh, no, it's a... It's a it's one of those radio podcast things where, and then somebody like animated them as they happened. Ah, oh, fuck, I can't even remember. But there was somebody who just went around, did these random ass interviews, and then they had them animated. You had it. I can't remember. Fuck. But if anyone I know would do that, it would be you. Yeah. Make you like this game. You know, I haven't played a quarter of the levels that Jeff has. Jeff has literally played, uh, I don't know, four or five times as many levels as I have. Nick, you know what? I would have never recommended it to you. I know. Oh, fuck. You're a jerk. Oh, I hate I hey, remember when you recommended game. Metal Gear 5 to me? I, I, asshole? Never, I actually still feel bad about that. Cause you that was, recommended I did, that? I, I did. Because Shad's the first person to come downstairs and start shit-talking that you know, to me. No, I know, because that was wow. the phase. After, that was the phase where I was, like, in love with the game. That was, like, you know, like you're saying, you're fucking a girl. Wow. That was, like, the early stages of fucking her. It's like, this is really that was fun. That was prior to the body. Oh, yeah, I did say that. Shad has spent... I've never <laughs> heard Shad <laughs> say a good thing about that game. Game. I've only been in the kitchen with Shad telling me about what a waste of time that shit was. <laughs> and, and I still feel bad because I was I got out of the intro and I played like the first mission. It's like this gameplay is so good. The characters are all kind of cool and but I didn't know it would never end. Like just Africa and Afghanistan are the same place. But it's interesting. There were yep. some people like uh, Shamuzel and even Creed who I fucking love to death. Who were saying like, oh yeah, you know, people they need to get over that first initial disappointment because once you get past that, you're gonna you're gonna see what this game is really about. No, 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 no. I got no, no, no. Or I, maybe they were tweeting back when they were in love with it, like you were. I don't know. I've played pretty much everything there is in that game, and I mean, I will admit freely that it's pretty trash as far as like actual things to do in it but everything variety. mechanically is yeah. really fucking good variety is I had a lot of fun playing it but Jeff did you even try Metal Gear, Gear Solid 5 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah let me let me uh, step in there like first yeah, of all yeah. Chad you shouldn't feel guilty about said, recommending me to fucking I was so Metal Metal Gear. Gear. I just, it just got so repetitive yeah, it's, yeah. Me and Jeff have been fucking. We've been talking about Metal Gear for years. We've blasted through all the games on fucking every so level constantly. Between so Mad like Max, Max wasn't like a new thing for me. Yo, between like, okay. Mad Max and Metal Gear Solid Five, which one is more repetitive and useless? Fucking time wasters. Well, he said he quit and moved to Metal or Mad Max. So. Mad Max is more fun than me. I think the world. But is it equally useless, repetitive bullshit? All open world games ah, are kind of like that. Most of them are kind of like that. Like even GTA, is, which is I mean, having an open world is kind of dangerous for having like new refreshing things to do, right? Because you have to have the whole map to explore, so you can't have a lot of things that deviate from your core mechanics. You ever heard of a pink noise? <laughs> 